اهلا بيكم معاكم ايمن محمد من الكتريفايد النهارده احنا في معرض انتر سولر وباور تو درايف في ميونخ ومعانا شركه اسمها اي كاب موبيليتي الشركه دي متخصصه في تحويل السيارات البنزين او الديزل لسيارات كهربائيه ودلوقتي هيكون معانا احد ممثلي هذه الشركه وهيشرح لنا ازاي تقدر تعمل عمليه التحويل وتقريبا الكوست بتاعتها بتبقى في حدود قد ايه وهنشوف امثله لبعض السيارات الكهربائيه اللي تم تحويلها من ديزل لسيارات كهربائيه بالكامل My name is Leonie Behrens. I am CEO of eCap Mobility. We are a startup from north of Germany. We make electric conversations so we can take any vehicle, any fossil vehicle, and we can transform it, convert it to electric mobility. Okay, please, we need to know, now if I want to transform my car to electric, what, what I shall think and what I can do, what is the first step I should do? Okay. Is there um, a car uh, I should lock to the car? Yeah. Specs, special yes. specs? In general, for this, uh, in general, I can say that we can really convert any car or any vehicle, okay? And um, then always the, the, question, the question comes, okay, how much uh, capacity can I put inside? How far can I go with the car? How much power does it have? Blah, blah, blah. And this is always um, dependent of the car. <laughs> is it a small car? Is it a big car? Is it heavy? Is it not heavy? And of course, it also is a question about money because the components, the electrical components at the moment are still quite expensive. Of, co of course, the, the market for these components is completely moving. So, so we never have, as ECAP Mobility, we never have uh, one standard kit okay we have it maybe for two months <laughs> okay. and then we need to have another one because maybe or exactly for, yeah, for yeah. famous cars for example yeah okay uh, uh, can you tell us uh, what kind of cars or type of cars you already transformed it before yeah so we started with uh, old timers okay. and sports cars and we did we did amphibian cars we did a boat we we did a now a wheel loader mm -hmm. Uh, we did a Mercedes-Benz Vario, 7.5 tons. Wow. Um, yeah, we did a lay laying machine, which is over there, so to build uh, streets. Yeah. Um, really, the, there, there hasn't been a car or a vehicle yet that we were not able to, to convert. Okay, very good. Can you tell us, uh, uh, the, like, the roughly price, how it, just budgetary price, uh, how much it will cost uh, to transform uh, yeah. from diesel car to electric yeah. cars? How Let's is the transformation cat itself? Yeah. Let's say we want to convert an old Beetle. Okay. Um, then it starts from around 30,000 euros. Okay. 30,000 euros. Zero, uh, three zero. Three zero yes. thousand euros. But that means you bring the car to us, you give us uh, six weeks of time. Okay and you get it back completely electrified you can use it forever then more or less okay can you tell me this cat uh, uh, what uh, what benefits it can uh, give to me like uh, how many how how long i can go with this cat with this kit you would go uh, a range of uh, around uh, 100 kilometers that would be 20 kilowatt hours okay 20 kilowatt hour uh, the capacity of the battery and the motor the, uh, the motor. Uh, 50, 60 kilowatt. 50 or 60, yeah. yeah, yeah. For a beetle, it's already yeah, quite yeah, nice. Very <laughs> nice. Okay. So, for you, you can transform also the beetles cars, the old beetles car, yeah. and anything. Okay, and we, we saw this uh, exotic car. It's, it's yeah. old, but it looks very nice. Yeah. Um, uh, so, we'll go now, and uh, I want uh, you to explain for us okay. more about this car and yes. how long it can go and okay. how you transform it. More details about this car. Okay. Okay, thank you. It's a pleasure. Let's go to the next step. ودلوقتي هنشوف شو كيس حقيقية لعربية قدروا يحولوها من ديزل وبنزين لعربية تشتغل كاملة بالكهرباء بعد ما عملوها ترانسفورميشن كانت أو عملية التحويل. اوكي ناو تيل اس هاو يو ستارتد تو ترانسفورم ذيس كار فروم ا ديزل كار أو جازولين كار تو إلكتريك كار. اوكي سو ا ليتل بيت أبوت ذا هيستوري. يا ذاتس ا ريلي نايس ستوري بيكوز ذا فاوندر أوف ذا كومباني هي هاد أن أولد هولدر اوكي to do farming oh. and uh, he's a really a, a pioneer mm -hmm. and uh, he tried to electrify it and he succeeded mm -hmm. and so then he was uh, for him it was such a great thing that he was like okay maybe we should try to make a business so he founded ECAP with uh, three other guys uh, pioneers I'm from, yeah and uh, they um, so we started to convert old timers mostly mm -hmm. okay small 
private cars idea developed. Came, uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> and uh, this, the, the DeLorean, is one um, one example. Also, the system that is inside this one right here is an old system. Okay, okay? it's uh, three or four years old. Okay. Um, at the moment, we are um, building uh, number two and number three in Hamburg um, with a complete new system, so more power in the engine and, uh, of course, more battery. Okay. Uh, can we take a look around the car and yeah. tell us more uh, specs about the car? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, tell us how we started. Do you remove the engine yeah. first or <laughs> what you did? Okay. So, how does it work? Yeah. It's really easy. I am not an engineer. Okay. So, we take out all the fossil parts, okay. the engine and the tank and everything else we don't need. And we put inside electric engine, batteries, battery management system, um, Steuerungseinheit, uh, controller. And filter and yeah. Okay. Exactly. Now let's take a look. Uh, now you remove the engine from here. Yeah. And you put the electric in engine uh, motor here yeah. also or? In the back. In the back. Okay. Let's have a look. So it's um, not a front wheel, it's a rear wheel. Uh, right. mm -hmm. okay. so what we can see here okay. is the battery, okay. batteries. And you see downwards the engine okay this is the engine yeah exactly okay perfect yeah and with the uh, with this delorean it's from 84 uh, yeah with this um, 20 kilowatt hours you can go around 100 kilometers you can go 200 kmh yeah it's a lot of fun yeah, yeah so we um, in this with this system we leave inside um, the transmission the gearbox and uh, we connect it to the electrical engine that means you can still you don't have to but you can uh, still um, use the gears and it's really much fun to drive with an old car electrified without noise no stinking yeah. and you can still really drive yeah. yes exactly it's it's really it much fun EV, it's familiar yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay and, uh, but let me ask you something uh, a lot of people are going to ask and comment about this. Now you told me it will cost around 30,000 to transform. Uh, it the starts from, there now. Yeah, from diesel uh, to electric. Yeah. And compared to the new electric car, it's, uh, maybe the prices is very close. Yeah. So why it's expensive? It's expensive because of the components that are available at the moment on the market. And it's also expensive because it is some work to do. Okay, it, it takes some hours to make it to make the conversion happen. Happens, and um, that's the the way it is now. Yeah, 2019. But I'm sure that there's going to happen so much on the market of components. Our no knowledge will grow. We're going to be faster. So I'm sure that within the next years, uh, prices will dec decrease. Okay, so. You can expect that in the future the prices will decrease. Yeah, also because be it can save a lot of cost, like the installation cost. Maybe you will be able to purchase only the transformation kit and do the installation yeah. by yourself. And yeah. this is a cost, but yeah. for sure, yeah. And I mean the technology, the components is, is uh, they're going to be better and better. The the uh, development is so fast and it's really nice. Yeah, uh, you told me the, the the price of the transformation cat is thirty thousand. This is for only the transformation cat or all the car? Uh, no, it's only <laughs> only the transformation. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And and not for the with that with that with with e cap, this price is not for the kit. Yeah. It's for the conversion, okay. which means the kit and the work to put it inside. Okay, perfect. Okay, Very but uh, for a sports car or like that, um, price is much higher. Mm -hmm. It's around fifty thousand because it's a, in the new version that we are building right now. It's going to be a, a stronger engine and more battery inside. And so what do you want to say at the end of this video? <laughs> I want to say that uh, people have to start overthinking how they're driving, how they move, and what we're going to do with this wonderful green and blue planet. Can you give us advice uh, for, for new markets like in Egypt? Mm -hmm. uh, for me as a user, uh, what to take, what, what I should uh, take in my consideration when choosing uh, When you think about converting the car. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You, you should definitely take into consideration that old cars they are here, okay, you have them. <laughs> and the fossil components inside, um, they're gonna break 
quite fast. If you put inside the electric system, then you can keep the old car. We don't have a problem with uh, throwing it away. Um, and you have a complete new powertrain concept inside. Of course, the batteries are still uh, something we have to talk about, yeah, because we also take resources from the earth and uh, at the moment we haven't found good ways of uh, recycling, recycling them. Yeah. But uh, there are many people also working on this, I know. Um, but the thing is, the fact is that uh, your old car will gonna run forever or at least very, very, very long. Um, when the when the chassis is okay and you put the electric system inside, it's really nice because you don't have to worry about your car anymore. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why to go with ECAP? Mm, because we're the best. <laughs> <laughs> no, and because um, what we can do is uh, we can uh, we can convert really any vehicle, and that can be a small small car, very old car. With uh, until we can, uh, we did a wheel loader. We we did uh, some smaller trucks. We not now going to build 40 tons trucks, so uh, heavy duty machines. Um, so we can we can uh, offer a big big wide range. Okay, and I think that's um, yeah quite a good point. Yeah, good yeah, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you.